Centenary Bank, first established in 1983 as a trust fund, opened its doors to the public in 1993 as a registered commercial bank, with emphasis in microfinancing, targeting low-income earners through providing loans to sustain them and their businesses. From micro loans of about one to 500,000 to SME and corporate loans of over 100 million, advanced usually to graduated loan recipients. Mr. Patrick Oyaga, the chief financial manager, is at the helm of loan servicing and leads the committee for assessment and evaluation of loans, the core behind the successful campaign. Our main business is microfinance. Of course, microfinance is both deposits, that means smaller depositors, and the borrowers, smaller loans. Right now, our agric portfolio is about 18% of the total portfolio. That's about 77 billion Uganda ceilings. Our lending here will depend mostly on the loans officers. The loans officer is the one who does the appraisal. Visits the customers, sees where the farm is, fills in the loan application forms, collects the, the information. Mr. Ngoka Emmanuel is a lead loan officer at the branch in Mukono. He works to bridge the gap between the bank's faithful pending loan recipients and the management. At the dawn of every day, he's dedicated to the challenge of banking interest for the bank and making the farmer a successful businessman and yet a loyal customer. His job takes rounds at appraising, visiting farmers to assess the potential of the farmer to repay the loan. He visited McConnell with us to show us one of his faithful clients. <laughs> Mr. Senfuma Francis, who is awaiting his third loan, a client for nearly five years now. We assist the farmers, but also as an institution, we also have to get a profit out of that. Because we give them a loans at a certain percentage, which are paid back uh, upon a specified period of time. So the moment the loan goes bad, the bank is also at a loss. So we try to mitigate the risks by ascertaining someone's capacity to pay the loan. For Mr. Semfuma Francis, poultry is the heart and soul of his business. A prosperous and loyal client now wearing 2,400 birds, he acquired with his first loan. And as every farmer, he struggles with the everyday challenges of maintaining his farm, ranging from diseases like bird flu which robbed him of his first flock, to the devastating impact of inflation. The loan helps me to buy more birds for my farm, and I can pay back the loan by selling my bag. In his recently established new shack, Mr. Semfuma is hopeful he will expand his firm and businesses to rear more animals such as cattle and grow crops like vegetables. To develop one of the biggest, most productive firms in Mukono. This, he says, will be possible with a new loan he plans to acquire when he repays his current one.